Very nice. Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking. If you guys are subscribed, you would see that I just uploaded a video on this, the FN Scar 20S. Reason I'm holding it is because it's an interesting segue. I just finished filming that video real time, although I probably uploaded it a week ago just to kind of give some space in between uploads. But the reason I'm holding it is because it's going to be an interesting contrast to move on to the subject of today's video because this is pretty high tech, the 20S. Uh, look at it. It's got a monopod, a bipod, a Vortex 3 to 18 by 50, uh, Razer HD Gen 2, phenomenal scope. It's really a gun that makes you feel like a chump when you miss because you really have no excuses. It's a phenomenal gun. And then I started looking at some other guns I have and they're all pretty phenomenal as far as the long range stuff. Uh, custom rifles from APR, Alma Precision Rifle, really, really nice world renowned chassis and stock systems. And it's all very, very high speed, high tech, all kinds of stuff like that. And whenever I see someone pinging steel at long range with just nothing more than like a sling and iron sights, I always feel like a lesser man. So that's why I wanted to get something like this. And I am so excited about this. This is, as you would suggest, a Springfield Armory M1A National Match in walnut wood uh, with the walnut wood stock. Now this should be another one that if I'm gonna be doing long range shooting with iron sights, this is the one that's also gonna have no excuses because it's pretty phenomenal. I've only shot it on one occasion and that was for the video, uh, two videos back, what was it, like Call of Duty guns in real life just to kind of show the M14 variant. So I only have about 10, 15 rounds or so because I did like 10 shots after that video filming. So I only got about 15 shots with this and all of it was within like 50 yards. So today we're really gonna test it out and uh, show you guys just how probably bad of a shot I am and how much practice I'm gonna need with this. So let's go ahead and take it out of this. It seems like when you get a national match here, they give you this nice case, two mags in here um, and all that good stuff, all your manuals in here and everything, but it's a really nice case. It's not like a throwaway case. This is a really nice travel case as I'm using it today. And just how pretty is this? now? I'm just gonna go on a limb and maybe assume that a lot of my viewers are about my age, some younger, some older, I'm sure. But anybody who's anybody who is remotely a gun person can just not argue that that silhouette is absolutely gorgeous. In my opinion, the way you should get an M1A, not the way you should, but my favorite M1As anyway, are the classic length with the original flash hider uh, with the walnut wood or the all teched out EBR, uh, as you guys have seen before. That's a really nice one too. But I love this one, and this one being a national match. What the national match is, is the iron sights are already, in my opinion, on the standard M1A or M14 variant, some of the best iron sights in the world. They take it a little step further with the national match. They give you a little hood, so that should help with some sun glare or whatever, or casting shadows contrast, so that should help. Um, other than that, national match, a better barrel and a better trigger, certainly, uh, just for my quick impressions with it. But I haven't tried to shoot precision yet, as we'll try. Wish me luck, but anyway, that's that. Um, so that's the National Match M1A, but about the M1A in general, so if you guys don't really know too much about it, let me enlighten you guys, maybe some of the younger viewers out there. But although I'm young myself, I have massive respect for older rifles and kind of like how rifles today came to be. So rifles like this are still in service in the form of an EBR. They would drop this action and barrel trigger and everything in the EBR, Sage International EBR chassis, and you'll still see that in use, which is really cool. But the tech of it really dates back quite a bit. The M1A is a civilian version of the M14. The M14 is a derivative of the M1 Garand. The M1 Garand was used in World War II and it shot a 30-06 from, I think it was a seven or eight shot uh, clip that you load up over top, load it in, and it makes that very iconic World War II ping sound when it runs empty. Uh, pretty cool. But they then modify that to become the M14, shoot out of a 20 round box mag shooting a 308. Um, and that just became a lot better over many other little upgrades here and here and there, but those are the main ones. And like I said, the civilian version being the M1A, which Springfield Armory continues to make these brand new guns uh, with the older school look. So that's the quick look at it. Um, now I went ahead and put this kind of surplus, I think it's like an M1 Garand sling, which of course works with this, uh, but this is a surplus sling. Reason I put the sling on there is not because I was gonna sling it around and walk around, uh, hunting wabbits, but the reason I did is because M1 Garand shooters and M14 shooters in the military, they train to shoot uh, accurately using the sling to their advantage, uh, wrapping it around here, making it nice and tight, and honestly, just from doing that and messing around, I couldn't hold an AR that steady uh, offhand, and these iron sights just help a ton. I'll try to show you a little bit of footage 
on just what makes uh, these iron sights so good. A nice little small peephole here with a nice trident up front. It's, again, it's a no excuses iron sights. They're really, really good. Ultimately, we're just out here to have some fun. I bought a lot of rounds for this thing because even off camera, I just want to come out here and just train with this thing because I think if you get the marksmanship fundamentals right and you're really, really good with irons and kind of just using a sling to your advantage and just getting good with this, then those higher tech things like the SCAR 20S and nice bolt actions will then become easier once you get the fundamentals right. So that's why I have this in my possession. That's enough talking and justifying on why I have it other than it's just beautiful. Uh, but let's go ahead and shoot. Um, I'm probably absolutely shooting myself in the foot though from starting out here. Since we finished the video with the SCAR out here shooting at 686 yards and 455, I might just start the video out here. Now I'm not gonna shoot 686 with iron sights just because safety and I'll probably just be slinging too many over not too accurately i'm sure someone else can do it accurately with no bipod and no rest um i'm not gonna do that today we will try 455 and i am willing to embarrass myself on my own channel shoot 455 you guys will get a good uh, perspective with the zoom camera and uh and we'll see what happens but i'll try to do it prone out of the bed of my truck and uh i don't know we'll see but 455 let me go ahead and get it ready this is pretty zeroed in right here dial this up that should be good for me at 455. You would see as I move it up, the peep sight starts to creep up and it's got a lot of travel over to uh, 1,000 yards plus even, which is kind of crazy, but 455, just about. Let's go ahead and try it out. All right, so I got 10 in this mag here and uh, we got the camera rolling, the distant camera anyway. And just so you guys know, you guys are gonna have a much better perspective on that target. That is a CTS target uh, steel tombstone target which is probably a little bit smaller than torso maybe about yay wide yay tall i tried to paint it white and then i ran out of paint so uh it's a little white but just with my naked eye it's actually kind of hard to make up i see it though so through the irons hopefully i can stabilize and chill out a little bit but uh let's go ahead and get ears and eyes and go without a hat don't make fun of my hair i know it's horrid start off actually kind of sitting and see if i could do anything like that you even have like this little shoulder piece right here to stabilize maybe a little bit more, but try to get the sling nice and tight. All right. Is that a hit? No. I didn't hear it. Yeah, it looked pretty close. That looked like it went right through it. Finally, it's crazy to think that Springfield Armory has competitions with the uh, the national match competition with M1As. I would be terrible. A little to the right. I'm happy with that. Ah, Rush that one a little too much. Oh, I just spit in dust. That was my last of that mag there. All right, so I think I embarrassed myself enough at 455. Uh, cut me a break. Like I said, that's like 
by three times more than I've ever shot uh, with iron sight. So I look forward to practicing with it. But anyway, we are going to do a little bit closer stuff now. We've got steel targets that way. And uh, my 686 from that hill is actually right here. And to me right now, that's probably more like about 100 yards. So we could do some offhand, hopefully, and get some hits. Float it up. Let's go ahead and just warm up with that. That should be about 65-ish or so, maybe 70. Go a little closer and fire them off a little quickly. Very nice. Only got three more loaded up in here. We're losing some daylight. Uh, but we figured we'd end it with a bang. But this was just a, merely an introduction to this gun. I absolutely love it. If you guys haven't seen my first impressions, my first five shots with it, then you guys would know how much I love it. I'm in love. It's a simplistic gun in that I don't need ballistic calculators and coming out here with uh, bipods, monopods, high power scopes, but it really shows that I need to practice the marksmanship fundamentals. But uh, I'll definitely kind of show you guys as I get better with this, but you guys will see this a lot on the channel, trust me. But let's go ahead and end it with a bang here. Love it. That'll do it for this video. Like I said, quick introduction, but expect to see plenty more very soon. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.